Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you too. Good morning, Grace. Well, a lot is happening in our, our interwebs in regards to one, Kelvin Kanyed. Of course, people will know him after his daring escape from the Mudega police station yeah. last week. Perhaps you can talk to us. What are they saying? He has been arrested, right? Yeah, he has been arrested. Actually, you know the whole story, how it happened. He killed uh, someone who was said to be his girlfriend in the U.S., fled to Nairobi where he hid for three months, or, and then he was arrested still here in Kenya and was taken to Mutaiga police station where he escaped. Now, the netizens are not, are not happy with him, if I can say that. Are, they are not happy with him because where would you escape to Ngong? Like, it's just there. <laughs> Why can't you search for somewhere else to go? So that's, that's one of the uh, discussions that are arising in the interwebs, that they are not happy with him for escaping to a very nearby town. And yeah, thank God he was caught. And they are actually applauding the DCI officers who did that. OK. Um, not, not like it's, it's not statistical, but it's very rare for the public to applaud the DCIs unless they are arresting um, drug dealers and all those people, but this time round, oh, they are so happy with these officers for uh, taking Kangeta into custody. And right now, I'm um, being told he is in, he's being arraigned in court. I hope the judgment that will be given is the right one. Uh, they're supposed to determine whether he goes back to the US where he'll be charged with a first degree murder, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's hope that they will have the right judgment. All right, and from what happened yesterday, we saw the brother mm -hmm. and the girlfriend's brother were arrested yeah. and then a few hours later he was arrested mm -hmm. what are people saying about that connection did he give away his brother perhaps yeah they are, that is what they are saying that is what they are saying that they are so sure that the brother was just the right information was gotten out of him i don't know which means they use but yeah they are so sure that the brother is one alim seti quote mm -hmm. unquote mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course we are following up on that story my colleague Wade francis is there and you're going to be giving a comprehensive detailed report uh, about that particular thing like Anne said he's currently in court and we're going to tell you what happens from that procession up uh, still on matters corridors justice the jury maribe case Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday we saw ODPP file uh, an appeal for her acquittal. What yeah. are people saying about that? Uh, so now, the whole uh, Joey and Maribe case has a lot of arguments, even on the ground. People are saying that Joey uh, deserved whatever he got. Some others are like, no, it was not his fault. Others are like, Maribe uh, got like uh, an easy deal. She, 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 she was acquitted, right? So they are, now, right now, when that the fact that the DPP has appealed her acquittal, some netizens are happy in saying that, actually others are making jokes saying that season two, episode one is loading. Mm -hmm. uh, others are actually not happy with what Itumbe said about the former DCI boss, that he was somehow involved in the whole issue, George Kinoti that is. And um, well, the whole, we just hope that we get to the end of it all. Mm -hmm. But other netizens are saying that she should be charged afresh because she was acquitted by the High Court judge uh, who stated that the murder was not the right account they would have charged her with. Mm -hmm. But now, since people are saying that she was an, an accomplice, they, I think they should charge her afresh. But yeah, so are the netizens. Some of the netizens think that they sh she should be charged afresh. And perhaps maybe are there people that are supporting her and are crying for her and have said that, you know what, let that matter rest, perhaps. Yeah. Others are like, they, have, they are pitying her. They're like, oh God, she was out. She was not even involved in this. I don't know. Others are, the others are with her, like they are saying that even if she goes to court again because she did not do it, she's going to be acquitted yet again. But that's why we are hoping that the right to judgment will be given this time round. All right. Uh, since uh, he was reported dead on a Sunday, Kelvin Kiptum, who is a, a marathoner in the country, of course, such, such a sad story. Days later, he's still trending. People are still mourning with his family. Uh, yesterday, of course, we saw that the family gave uh, the burial date. So what are still people saying about this death that hit the country so hard? Actually, the main uh, discussion around Kevin Kiptum was his age and the world record he just broke last year. Like, that was a very young talent, a young soul. He had so much to live for. I'm sure somehow he would, he would have come to be our next Kipchoge. And Kipchoge was also so proud of him. When he broke the record, uh, Kipchoge appreciated him. He um, 
praised him online, although some netizens are saying that Kipchoge did not like him too, but Kipchoge said, actually, uh, he literally said, I actually celebrated Kiptum when he won. So those who are saying otherwise, shame on you, quote unquote. That is what Kipchoge said. So yeah, uh, the, the death of Kiptum has also awakened a discussion of Samuel Onjiu. Do you remember how he died when still young and he was also um, a winner, a marathon a winner? And yeah, so people are saying that it is a very saddening death. It was unexpected and we are, th we are hoping that his soul rests in peace. Um, perhaps maybe has DCI ruled out anything because of course the parents, the, specifically the father, was, was in the thought that those Afolos played in mm -hmm. the whole role. Maybe what has the DCI said about that particular accident? Well, uh, the DCI, I haven't seen the comment from the DCI, but mm -hmm. the netizens are hoping that the DCI, is, uh, the DCI will actually do a deep investigation on the matter because most of them think that the accident was staged or the whole death was staged. So we are hoping that the DCI will come up with an investigation and give us the results. Mm -hmm. All right. There's also another controversial remark by President William Ruto. Of course, when he said that Apple has uh, employed... Mm -hmm. 23,000 Kenyans. Now, Kenyans, on the other hand, are approved by that. Yeah. Tell us what they're saying about that. They actually came up with their own statistics. So netizens are online, uh, specifically on X, saying that uh, Apple's workforce is around 160,000 employees. But now, uh, so when, when you say that 23,000 Kenyans are employed by Apple, that means that 14 to 15% of Apple's employees are Kenyans. And they are not they are not agreeing with that. They beg to differ. So we are hoping actually I think it's up to us, the media houses, media personnel, to do a deep investigation to verify these facts and many other facts that are being stated by other um, political leaders. So I, I think we should verify these facts ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well when we talk about that, of course the president says that he's trying to get jobs for Kenyans from abroad. Now we're getting that some of these institutions from abroad are well, I'm, I'm employing Kenyans from the comfort, when well, this Apple, for, let me ask you before mm -hmm. I ask that question. Mm -hmm. These Kenyans, the 23,000 Kenyans, are working from home for Apple? Yeah, or from Nairobi. He said specifically Nairobi mm -hmm. for Apple. So mm -hmm. they are doing an on, uh, online jobs for Apple. Mm -hmm. And actually, netizens were also asking uh, China is one of the major stakeholders for, with Apple. They work with Apple um, uh, with, in many projects mm -hmm. and they have. they don't have so many employees as people, as Ruto said. So how come, okay, and they're also asking, how oh, when you are employed in Apple, kindly show, uh, show yourselves mm -hmm. to one. So the math is not mathing. The math is not mathing. <laughs> 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 All right, I, I wanted to ask you about, the president is keen on, you know, getting jobs for Kenyans from abroad. This is another thing that the president is saying, these companies are also trying to get uh, sort of employment for Kenyans. Mm -hmm. What are Kenyans saying about that whole initiative? They're uh, searching for employment yes. ab abroad. Uh, <laughs> so far, I can't, I can't really say what they are saying because mm. you don't want to be close to <laughs> them, but they are really <laughs> angry at whatever the, some, some, some things that the president is saying, although some moves that he is making are really uh, elating them. But anyway, um, we are hoping that he is really, he's really working on that, like honestly working on that. All right. Thank you, Anne Veronica, for that. Michael